Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to do very simply what you see here, and that is zooming into an image in our C Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application. And here I've got a simple application with a picture box, and inside of it is an image that I grabbed from Google Earth. And this is a high resolution 8K image that I can just press this zoom button and it zooms in on the image. And you can keep zooming and zooming and zooming. And then when I hit restore, it goes back to the original image. So we're going to show you how to do this in C Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms. Now, there's a few ways to do zooming. So let's first look at what actually is zooming in on an image and what are the different approaches you can take to doing your zooming. Well, here I've got my original image. You said it's an 8K image, 8192 pixels across by 4,506 pixels down. And one approach to doing zooming is to crop this image into a smaller area. And then once I have this cropped, I can expand that cropped image into the same picture box. And effectively, you are zooming. In fact, what you're doing is you're taking a sub image and expanding it. So it's really not like in the real world, getting closer to something where you always have the same high resolution. In this approach, you are basically just zooming in. And that's why we saw when you get in real close, you're getting down to the individual pixel level and you start to see some blurring. So yes, this is one way to zoom, but um, there are other approaches. Another approach might be to take this 8K image, and when you zoom in, when you get past a certain point, you might want to get another image that is also an 8K image, but it is a view from a closer location. And you can do that in, for example, Google Earth. You can get another 8K image, but when you're getting closer to what you're looking at. So what we're going to talk about is this first approach where we are cropping an image and then expanding it. And then we can crop it again and expand it and keep doing that to zoom our image. So as you can imagine, I've got a picture box here. I've got an 8K image. Each time I hit the zoom button, I'm going to zoom in. In other words, I'm going to crop the original image and then expand that cropped image into the same picture box. And then zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. When I hit this restore button, it's going to restore the image in this picture box to the original image. So let's take a look at our application, see how we can do that. So here is our C Sharp Visual Studio WinForms application. As you can imagine, I've just got a picture box and two buttons. And uh, one is zoom, one is restore. We double click on those to get the event handlers. And here is our simple application using system, system drawing, system windows.forms. Um, and what I'm doing first is I'm defining an image, the one that we're going to be bringing in, the original image. And I am first taking the picture box and setting the size mode to stretch image. And that's going to help us to stretch the cropped image to the full size of the picture box. And then I've got a string, the file path of our original image. And this is a image of New York City. So it's nyc.png. And I'm basically getting an image, this image from file, and I'm using this file path. And then I'm just setting the picture box image to that image. And that gives us the um, original image. And then what I'm going to do is I've got our, our two buttons, zoom button and our restore button. And I've got one method that will take an image and scale it or basically crop it by that scale down to a smaller size that we will then uh, expand into our picture box. So button zoom, um, if there's an image in the picture box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed whatever that image is into this crop image method we're going to take a look at, which is the, the main worker here. And we're going to set a scale. And each time I hit this zoom button, I'm going to scale what's ever in the picture box by 80%. And that's why each time I hit the zoom, it zooms into the image by taking 80% and cropping whatever's in the picture box. And it's doing that over and over again to give us a zoomed image. And then I'm uh, getting that cropped image, the 80% cropped image, and setting that as the picture box one dot image. So really very straightforward. 
The real worker here is this crop image method. So again, it's going to take the image, whatever it is, whatever's in that picture box, whether it's the original image or a cropped version, and that scale value, which is a double, and it's going to go through and crop it and return the cropped bitmap image. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the new dimensions of the cropped image. So it's going to take the original image, the width and the height, and multiply it times the scale, and convert those to integer to get a new width and height. So if it's a thousand by a thousand, it's going to get a scaled image of 800 by 800. Then what we want to do is we want to calculate the crop rectangle centered about the center of the image. So to do that, we have to take the original image width and height, subtract the cropped image width and height, and divide that by two. And it's going to take the difference between the width of this full image and the width of the cropped image and divide by two and that gives us the location for this centered image. And it's going to do that on the width and the height. So now we've got the X and Y of that cropped image from the top left corner. And then we're going to create a new bitmap for the cropped image to prepare it so that we can then put the original image inside that cropped bitmap. So cropped bitmap is new bitmap with the new width and the new height, which is the cropped value. And then we're going to use this graphics, graphics from image, and we're going to take this cropped bitmap and draw onto it. And all we have to do is say this graphics.drawImage and define the original image in a rectangle starting at 0, 0, the new width and the new height, and define a new rectangle, which is the crop x, crop y, so it's the x and y coordinates from the top left corner, the new width, the new height, and then graphics unit dot pixel. And that's basically going to give us a bitmap in this cropped bitmap that is a cropped version of that original image. It's just going to return that. So now every time we call it, we say cropped image is equal to this, and it just uh, multiplies it times the scale factor and gives us a cropped version that is centered at the same location as the original. So that's about it. Really straightforward and very simple to do. And we can zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. And to restore it, all I do is I go into the Restore button and put the original image back in the, in the picture box. Now, we're doing this with uh, event handlers from buttons. You can also do this from scroll wheel. We talked before in a video about zooming with the scroll wheel. It'll do the same thing. It'll give us an event for the scroll wheel. We can zoom in and out. But this is a pretty straightforward and very simple way to zoom into an image. So that's about it for this one. If you're liking these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.